a beacon of faith amidst tumultuous change. In an era when the church faced fierce attacks from Protestant reformers, St. Robert Bellarmine emerged as a scholar, theologian, and defender of the faith. His life testified to the power of intellect, humility, and unwavering devotion to Christ, qualities that fueled his extraordinary contributions to the church. As the first Jesuit to become a professor at Louvain, Bellarmine's deep commitment to history, the church fathers, and scripture laid the groundwork for revitalizing church doctrine during a time of theological upheaval. Bellarmine's journey, a scholar and defender of truth. Ordained in 1570, Bellarmine entered a church in desperate need of intellectual renewal. The study of church history and patristic theology had fallen into neglect, leaving Catholic teaching vulnerable to Protestant critiques. Bellarmine, with his early promise as a scholar, passionately engaged with these subjects. His aim was not only to defend, but to systematically present church doctrine coherently, responding to the challenges of his time. His most significant work, Disputations on the Controversies of the Christian Faith, solidified his reputation as a brilliant theologian. His incisive arguments regarding the role of the papacy, especially in temporal matters, challenged the prevailing notion of the divine right of kings, a position that made him unpopular among monarchists in England and France, yet earned him admiration in Rome. Pope Clement VIII, recognizing Bellarmine's brilliance, declared he had not his equal for learning and made him a cardinal, a humble cardinal in service to the poor. Despite his rise to prominence, Bellarmine never sought personal glory. Even as he occupied Vatican apartments as a cardinal, he maintained a life of austerity. His household expenses were minimal, and he gave generously to the poor, once famously using the tapestries in his rooms to clothe those in need, quipping, the walls won't catch cold. Bellarmine's humility was also evident in his deep concern for the spiritual welfare of others. He became a theologian to Pope Clement VIII, where he prepared catechisms that would shape the spiritual education of generations of Catholics. His defense of church teaching was not an intellectual exercise alone. It was born of a love for Christ and a desire to guide souls toward him. The Galileo Controversy, a saint's struggle with science. Even saints are not immune to the complexities of their times. Bellarmine's friendship with Galileo presented him with a significant challenge. When the Holy Office condemned Galileo's support of the heliocentric model, Bellarmine was tasked with delivering a cautionary admonition. Although he respected Galileo's intellect, Bellarmine had to uphold the Church's stance, warning against promoting theories not yet proven. This episode serves as a reminder that saints, while holy, are not infallible. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Legacy of a Defender of Faith St. Robert Bellarmine's life and works remind us that the core of our faith is not merely doctrine, but the living person of Jesus Christ. Bellarmine's devotion to scripture and his theological brilliance helped to safeguard and clarify Catholic teaching during a time of immense challenge. Yet, his humility, his care for the poor, and his loyalty to Christ are what define his legacy. As Vatican II later affirmed in Gaudium et Spes, there are many realities which do not change and which have their ultimate foundation in Christ, who is the same yesterday and today, yes, and forever, Hebrews 13, 8. Bellarmine's writings continue to speak to the church today, reminding us that, at its heart, our faith is grounded in Christ, ever living in his church. Quote for reflection, The school of Christ is the school of charity. On the last day, when the general examination takes place, charity will be the whole syllabus. St. Robert Bellarmine Bible References Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever.
Hebrews 13, 8. If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John 8, 31 to 32. May God bless us in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.